discussing I was attempting to get some commitment of you attempt and get some business as well. And on the spot, um, I need to apologize to you and Marjorie for what I said, Oak, this young fellow here, what it's a wreck, however, what stand by brief. I mean, I considered all that you realize I could lose my employment, you realize. How is it that I could confront you all that you understand what I'm going through? Is the thing I'm going through, it appears to be, that Steve has been holding on to disdain towards Shirley, since her better half, Ernesto Williams, confronted lawful difficulties, their relationship has been violent of late, and Shirley's new open mix-up seems to have set off Steve. Much further, Ernesto Williams, Shirley's significant other, wound up ensnared in a serious legitimate circumstance, including claims of firearm ownership burglary. And misrepresentation, both Ernesto Williams and Erica Ruler introduced themselves as specialists in different fields, these grave allegations that last prompted his capture in 2022, creating a long-shaded area over Shirley and Steve's now-confounded relationship. To exacerbate the situation, Ernesto's legitimate issues took a critical turn, bringing about a cruel 23-month jail sentence as a result of these charges. Anyway, the situation starts to get interesting as ongoing occasions have added new entanglements for Williams in a stunning development. He presently has to deal with five extra penalties, fundamentally raising the earnestness of his circumstance. These new claims have escalated his lawful difficulties, as well as placed an unforgiving focus on Shirley Strawberry's very own life. You may be thinking about how all of this connects with Steve Harvey and why he's supposedly angry with Shirley Well. Everything started with gossip that sent shockwaves through Tinseltown, the tattle factory murmured that Steve oneself broadcasted Lord of Matchmaking, was the person who acquainted Ernesto with Shirley Yes You Heard that accurately Steve purportedly assumed a part in this relationship as a matter of fact he appeared to be profoundly associated with Ernesto's fantastic proposition to Shirley, which unfurled on her public broadcast right close by the enormous man himself, yet here's the astounding turn. Shirley didn't perceive her better half's voice during the proposition now in the past. Some could have viewed that as charming anyway. We should quick forward to now. And it's more baffling than a Hollywood change turned out badly. I mean, genuinely, how should she not perceive her own better house voice that's all in all a wreck? Isn't it anyway? It brings up the issue, did Shirley really know this man by any stretch of the imagination? Or was she basically cleared away by the glamour and style existing apart from everything else? Without a hint about the tempest she was venturing into yet, that is not all it appears to be that fans accepting Steve was the brains behind this sentiment might have unsettled the jokester's otherwise calm disposition enough to provoke Shirley to participate in some serious harm control. And kid, did she apologize, Shirley, as of late confessed all noteworthy that Steve didn't have anything to do with setting her up with her flow spouse, no, it was truly a previous companion who assumed the part of go between discuss and unexpected development. Anyway, the story doesn't finish up there another component that purportedly powered Steve's hatred was a spilled call among Shirley and Ernesto, which has been circling on the web for a long while now. No, it's not something worth talking about to raise a toast to you, no. It's simply not a nice sentiment, this private discussion between Shirley Strawberry and her detained ex was never planned to be unveiled at this point. It veered off in a strange direction when the sound from their discussion surfaced web-based in this supposed ongoing discussion. Shirley got serious about her encounters as a visitor at the Harvey home. She praises their rich spa and exercise offices while offering a few intriguing remarks about Steve and Marjorie's relationship. The discussion started guiltlessly enough with Shirley communicating her reverence for Marjorie's sumptuous spa room she referenced how luxuriously prepared it was and commented Marjorie has her own spa, her own exercise room. She could go in there and get needs consistently individuals come to her home and work her out. And that I was all similar to gracious God, what a fantasy anyway. The discussion took a seriously fascinating turn 
When they started examining Marjorie's appearance, when Ernesto asked in the event that Marjorie was giving indications of maturing, Shirley answered by saying that she didn't accept. So she added that Marjorie Gray searched in pictures in spite of the fact that she hadn't seen her in that frame of mind. In one more piece of their discussion, Williams implied that it had been some time since they had hung out socially and that Steve was logical satisfied to see her surely. Appeared to affirm this by saying he was glad to see us. He generally welcomes us around there, and we absolutely never go. Since I couldn't say whether she's there you realize she views at us as the assist you with realizing what will be will be generally apparently surely encounters a feeling of distress and unwanted sentiments. When Marjorie is available, this opinion appears to go neglected by Steve, as he is purportedly terrified of Marjorie Shirley's authentic words, implied for a confidential discussion with Ernesto, immediately found their direction into the public space, leaving the two fans and pundits, shocked the fallout of the spilled calls, was quick and broad it didn't take long for Shirley Strawberry to get a handle on the gravity of her words and feel a sense of urgency to defy the issue straightforwardly. She decided to address the matter on the foundation of the Steve Harvey Morning Show, where she put out a genuine conciliatory sentiment during the show Shirley expressed on the spot, I need to apologize to you and Marjorie. For what I said exactly that, as I wish I could I can't take it back, she likewise communicated profound regret for unexpectedly adding to the continuous treachery reports, encompassing Steve and Marjorie Harvey which had as of late collected public consideration. Shirley showed up profoundly disturbed as she kept expressing out loud, whatever might I at some point conceivably tell you after this happened, I was crushed, I mean, really crushed, obviously. She was worried about what her words could mean for her work and her relationship with Steve Harvey. She communicated her stresses, saying I thoroughly considered all that you realize I could lose my employment and how is it that I could confront you all that I'm going through is exactly the thing I'm going through, you know. And I've been managing it for north of a year. In the meantime, it appears to be that Steve answered the statement of regret with effortlessness. And understanding he recognized that the spilled calls had begun from an insider, making what is happening even more testing to deal with Steve, remarked yet when it's not tattle. And it comes from a dependable source. Then it becomes something else he perceived that Shirley's expectation was not to inflict damage and said the planning of it was lamentable due to all the other things that is occurring at present. And it caused it to seem like Shirley was heaping on which wasn't her purpose, yet it occurred. As it's been said, I comprehend I suppose you could say it was recorded on the grounds that you realize everybody gets that call Steve underlined that his principal concern was the effect on Marjorie who had been exposed to constant media examination. He communicated, it's been particularly trying for my significant other you know, and this is the kind of thing I've never finished before it's been so extreme for my better half Steve. Enthusiastically shielded Marjorie's personality and dependability, clarifying that he wouldn't permit unjustifiable tales. To discolor her standing, he expressed immovably the lady I wedded, is an uncommon lady. She's the best thing that has at any point happened to me. She's dedicated to her confidence. She's devoted, she's steadily loyal. And she's a truly kind and cherishing individual. It doesn't really matter to me what any other individual says he then added. And I'm burnt out on all the jabber about my young lady, since she's genuinely quite possibly of the best lady. I've at any point known, and why certain individuals out there are running these websites, attempting to obliterate somebody, I don't actually see in the meantime fans have answered Shirley's expression of remorse, remarking that Shirley reserved the option to feel the manner in which she did, and express her feelings fans underscore that the main slip-up she made was communicating her sentiments on a recorded line they brought up that Shirley could have felt that Marjorie saw her with a particular goal in mind. Around then an individuals shouldn't direct the way that others ought to feel fans complimented Shirley for daring to go on air and issue a statement of regret, noticing that it takes a resilient lady to do.
so they likewise recommended that Shirley ought to deal with repairing her relationship with her girl anyway. In spite of the sympathy, Shirley is getting there are charges that Steve is likewise unglued about the way that Shirley Strawberry knew about Ernesto's sketchy history and may have been empowering him for quite a while regardless of the murmurs and tales encompassing her accomplice, Shirley stayed undaunted. In her conviction that Ernesto had put his problematic past behind him, her faithful conviction in his change drove her to unhesitatingly set out on an excursion of affection and responsibility with him, fully intent on abandoning his questionable history, Ernesto embraced and 